All right, uh, really a hard story to talk about here. Prosecutors in New Mexico, uh, they are once again seeking charges against actor Alec Baldwin in that fatal movie set shooting. It, it happened on the set of Rust two years ago. A person was killed, the director of uh, cinematography, yeah. sadly killed on that set. And this is based on a new report, which they say shows the gun was not modified before it made it to Baldwin's hands. They're planning to show this to a grand jury here in the coming weeks. Stephanie Haynes joins us live to break it all down for us. And Stephanie, would this be considered double jeopardy? You know what, good morning, it's not, because back when these same special prosecutors decide to drop that charge against Alec Baldwin, that involuntary manslaughter charge, they included this provision in there that is called with prejudice, meaning that they can open the case back up if new information comes to light. Well, that is exactly what these special prosecutors are saying now with this new gun analysis, saying that the gun wasn't modified, it didn't malfunction, there had to be some pull or depression of the trigger for this incident to happen. Now, as we all know, Alec Baldwin has denied ever pulling the trigger, but now these special prosecutors are like, hey, we're gonna take this to a grand jury and let them decide if the charges need to be brought. A new chapter may be unfolding in the saga of actor Alec Baldwin and the fatal shooting on the set of the movie Rust. Special prosecutors in New Mexico announced they plan to present the case to a grand jury. A new gun analysis released in August shows the shooting was the result of, quote, the pull or rearward depression of the trigger. Whether or not he pulled the trigger is going to be central to this case. In this particular case, the prosecution's theory as of now is the gun was not modified and that Alec Baldwin shirked his responsibilities. The shooting happened back in October of 2021 while rehearsing a scene. I take the gun out slowly, I turn, I cock the pistol, bang, it goes up, she hits the ground, she goes down. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed and director Joel Souza was wounded. Baldwin has always maintained he did not pull the trigger and that he was told the gun was not loaded with live ammunition. I expect Alec Baldwin's defense to not only focus on these technical issues surrounding the gun, surrounding the protocols on set, but to very much be focused on Hannah Gutierrez Reed and her responsibilities. The film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter and evidence tampering. Her trial is set for February. In the meantime, filming of the movie Rust resumed in Montana and has reportedly wrapped as of last spring. Hutchins' husband is executive producing as part of a settlement with Baldwin. No word on when the movie will be released. And we reached out to Baldwin's team. We didn't hear back. But, you know, Adrian, this case is really complicated. The first assistant director has actually pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor uh, for his alleged role in this case. And in terms of the timeline of all this, the prosecutors say that they are going to present this to a grand jury within the next two months. So it could be a little bit of time before we hear more. Adrian. All right, Stephanie, obviously an emotional time. A lot has happened. Uh, I know. Uh, he and his wife have had another baby since this shooting death. The, the, the widower of the woman killed. I mean, obviously, he uh, has had to go through a lot with his child, their child. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.